Hey, hello. Welcome in. I'm Blue, and this is Blue Redraws Episode 8. Blue Redraws is a series where I get to redraw your characters that you submit into my Discord. If you want your characters to be redrawn, consider joining our Discord and submitting your characters there. If you want to check out more Blue Redraws, go ahead and check out my channel where I have a playlist of all the Blue Redraws so far. Alright, now let's get started. Our first redraw is for Sushi Soda. This is their D&D play doctor, Elpis Clodwell. She is anxiety riddled, but a well-meaning doctor. Thrust into a world of beasts, she serves as her party's healer and crowd control with her poison attacks. Thank you, Sushi Soda, for your entry. I really love the design of your character. It reminded me of my character, Mika, who also has a very solemn, sort of sad demeanor. And drawing them was a lot of fun. I decided to go about it in a different sort of technique. I've been trying to experiment with my art a lot lately. So recently I've been going into a more painterly style, which has been a lot of fun for me. I do love a more like rendered appearance for art. So if you ever wondered about my process, I put down a base color of just anything. I duplicate the line art, one a more red tone, one a more blue tone, and I sort of mash them together. I color in all the base colors and then I just go over it entirely and render the whole thing and it sort of turns into a one layer kind of challenge and that's like the shortest explanation of my art style. Next is an entry from Dust Knight. This is their friend's BG3 character. They are a drow druid named Helania. Thanks Dust for your entry. I've heard a lot about Baldur's Gate 3 but I've personally never played it. I've seen a lot of stuff, especially on Asterion. I know a lot about them, um, but I haven't personally played it. I think the mechanics are really interesting. I know you have to like a roll of dice and it's very random and there are so many alternative journeys you could take or paths you can take in the game depending on what kind of character you have and the choices you make. So I think the possibilities of Baldur's Gate 3 sounds really interesting. But I am very intimidated because <laughs> I've never played a game like that. I mostly play comfort games like Minecraft or a little to the left, which I have some gameplay footage of me playing that on my channel. But I have never played super intense like decision making games. Like I haven't even played any of like the Telltale games, which I really want to get into. The choice making is just a little too intimidating for me. What do you guys think? Do you guys like Baldur's Gate 3? Have you tried Baldur's Gate 3? Let me know. Next up is an entry from Skittle Kichi. This is their mouse folk warlock Onion. They are a sweet little guy that was taken in by a mage when their burrow was destroyed. Onion's benefactor and friend became their patron after a freak magical experiment failed, vaporizing their friend into pure arcane energy. Unbeknownst to Onion, they had absorbed the magical remains of their friend. Due to all the trauma Onion had endured, they cannot remember their old friend. So now they travel along a caravan of adventurers learning a little bit about their strange and suspicious power along the way as they journey into the Feywilds, trying to find that one person that they miss yet can't remember. How sad! Thank you so much, Skittle Kichi, for your submission. I just adore how many of you guys actually enjoy D&D. Uh, I, I kind of expected it since we're all sort of creatives out here making our own characters and our own stories. But the amount of D&D characters that I've drawn so far in Blue Redraws is really funny and really endearing so thank you so much TNT community for enjoying my art style and participating in my blue redraws i really need to get back into DD. someone get me back into DD. <laughs> next up is for maxilla this is a fabulo they were once a witch's familiar but after many failures they were abandoned they waited by the side of the road for a long time until being found by their other oc max marley they now roam the streets of the city and are looking for a new person worthy of being their master. All they really want is to be loved. They return to Max Marley at the end of every day, tired and disappointed, and Max lets them in, only wanting the best for their little potion friend. The potion in their head is that of a weak healing potion. The potion can be removed and it can be replaced. Their head must never be left empty for over 24 hours. Another sad story. Thank you so much, Maxilla, for your submission. I loved drawing this one. I enjoyed working with the glass container. It reminded me of like an old series that I used to draw back on Instagram, RIP Instagram, 
But I used to draw like the, uh, my character with a glass bowl on their head with like animal shaped stuff in it. Uh, I'll try to put in some pictures and you guys let me know if you guys would like to see some redraws of that. This next submission is from Noxo G. So you remember old Nacho, right? I present to you young Nacho. He's the emperor of a huge kingdom that's very steampunky and is all based in metal magic. And their main export is metal in any shape or form. Thank you, Noxo, for your submission. I really want to work on more expressions for blue redraws. So if you have a specific expression that you want your character to have, like we want them to be like absolutely sobbing and wrecked or like having the best time ever, include that in your descriptions. I would love to try out different things. And I also want to try out drawing more metallic stuff. So that's why I chose like the crown and the jewels. I want to try more reflective things just to get more familiar with that. This was so much fun to draw. I love all of the colors that were chosen in this blue redraws. I needed work with more vibrant, vivid colors. So if you have characters like that, submit them into the Discord or join our coffee and submit them there so that you can have a chance at getting your character redrawn by me. And our last blue redraw is for Salvaged, who only left the description scrunkle. Thank you so much, Salvage. I've always wanted a clown OC. I think they're so adorable. Have you guys seen them? Like they're all over TikTok. I love clown makeup, the, the like vivid outgoing personalities that a lot of these clown OCs have. I'm, I'm very tempted to make one. Do you guys have clown OCs? Are you, do you also want to make a clown OC? Let me know. But I thought this one was so cute and I was so excited to work on it. And I wanted them to look kind of like plushy, kind of soft, but look mischievous. They gave off like a very mischievous vibe. So this was really fun. I loved the shapes in this one. Anyway, let's wrap up this piece and check out all the pieces together. And here they are. Let me know what you think. I had a lot of fun drawing all of these characters and I can't wait to work on more in the future. If you want your characters to be drawn by me, check out our Discord. That's where I take all submissions for blue redraws or consider becoming a coffee member. By becoming a coffee member, you not only support the channel, but you can help support me in making more videos. And a huge shout out to all of my coffee members. I really appreciate all of your support and I can't wait to make you guys more stuff in the future. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, consider subscribing or leaving a like on the video if you want to see more. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. Until next time, take care.